Hi, my name is Roland Steven de la Cruz, 17 years old. I'm grade 11, Accountancy, Business and Management, section of Pasholi in Dr. Ramon de Santos National High School. For today, we will learn the nature and basic concept of management. We will define the meaning of management, at the same time, the function of management to the business. We will also take a look at the different rules of function of managers in a company. So first, let's define what is management. We can define the management as the process of coordinating and overseeing the work performance of individuals working together in organizations so they could efficiently and effectively accomplish their chosen aims or goals. For that definition of management, I would like to emphasize on three things that are intrinsic to the nature of management, coordination, efficiency, and effectiveness. Coordination refers to a harmonious integrated action of various parts of process of an organization. Truth coordination, we are assured that all individuals, group, or teams are harmoniously working together and moving toward the accomplishments of the organization, vision, mission, goals, and objectives. Next, efficiency refers to character of being efficient or being able to yield the maximum output from a minimum input. In a business setup, efficiency will refer to the optimal use of scarce resources such as human, financial, physical, and mechanical in order being about maximum productivity. Lastly, effectiveness refers to the ability to do things correctly when engaged in activities that will help the organizations adding its eggs. Now, let's proceed to the different function of management. The five functions of management are planning, organization, staffing, leading, and controlling. In the planning function of management, it will involve the identification of company's goals or objectives in formulating strategic action and activities that aims to achieve these goals or objectives. The organization function of management involves assigning specific tasks in each member of organization, setting aside bonds or budget for each department and building harmonious relationship amongst individuals so they can work as one team for the company. The third function of management is staffing, which aims to fill up the different job positions in the organization, the identification of different factors, such as the size of organization, type of jobs, and number of individual to recruit can influence the staffing function of the manager. The fourth function of management is leading, which focus on how a manager influences or motivates his or her subordinates or members to always give their best in order to help the organization to become attaining their established goals. The last function of management is controlling, which entails the process evaluating and if necessary correcting the performance of individuals or teams in an organization. This function aims to ensure that all members are working toward the achievement of goals and plans of the organization. Let's move on to the next topic. Different levels in the firm are all engaged in the planning. However, all the resulting plans must be related to one another and directed toward the same goals. Next discussion will focus on the planning that happens in different levels of management in the company. The planning at different levels of management includes strategic planning, tactical planning, and operational planning. Strategic planning involves making decisions about the organization's long-term goals and strategies. The top-level managers such as CEOs, company president, and senior executives are responsible in the development and execution of a strategic plan. The strategic planning starts with the definition of organization goals and target that are related to the maintenance of its ability. It also involves the identification of the organization, culture, values, and growth, which will improve the productivity, profitability, effectiveness, and efficiency. The next one is tactical planning, which refers to a systematic determination and scheduling of the immediate or short-term activities required in achieving the objectives of strategic planning. 
The purpose of this planning is to transform the strategic goals and plans into specific goals and plans that will be applicable in one business unit or department of the organization. The middle-level manager are responsible for the development of tactical plans. Lastly, operational planning, which involves the identification of specific procedures that are required at the lower level of the organization. This planning also involves routine tasks done by each unit in the organization lower. Now, we all know the definition, nature, and function of management and planning of different levels of management. Again, my name is Roland Stevan de la Cruz. Thank you for watching.